And well, my name is So Yoon Kim, and I'm in charge of Korean students admission at Gyeongsang University. Well, today I'm gonna start the webinar with show you guys our university's official promo video and explain about the admission throughout the presentation. This is Professor Armigan of Global Studies Department. Hello everyone, super happy to see you and uh, I will be, uh, I will introduce myself more in detail after the presentation and uh, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, I'll be happy to respond to them. So thank you, thank you so much for coming today. Okay, let me show you the promo video. The learning at Kyungsung University gives you the power to open the future. To dream for a greater future, the university builds a greater today. Beyond our thoughts, beyond the expectation of the world, we are getting stronger. We are strong. Kyungsung University. The answer has always been right in front of us. Responding to the calling of the ages through education, we have continuously pondered and considered the future of higher learning. To empower our students and the local community, we have relentlessly pushed ourselves forward. Expanding opportunities among the university student, business, and society. Making our own decisions without disappointment, we have created a culture of talent and self-directed endeavors. To be a university that values strength over size with strong will and passion. Providing education towards the truth with the same energy that have opened the future. For the world to come, Kyungsung University always seeks for a better answer. If innovation makes the world a better place, we will definitely make it happen. A strong innovator is to create your own future. In order to foster talented innovators, Kyungsung University leads a step ahead. With no pressure on grades, we are increasing the free access of various studies as well as self-initiated programs, which allow students to design their own curriculum. Through online-based courses, students can design their own curriculum, solve tasks assigned by businesses and the society, create new aspects with existing courses, and be equipped with competence that allows them to quickly adapt to any change. Believing communication is the start of creative convergence, increasing expertise in colleges and departments, and tearing down barriers, Kyungsung University puts communicative and empathetic education into practice. Through empathetic and specialized education of arts and humanities, and even stronger education of engineering and natural sciences, Kyungsung students are growing into leaders of the fourth industrial revolution cheering for our students' future with inventive scholarship programs and with the power of education that is based on student-centered philosophies and beliefs. 
we are making it an even better place to benefit their future. If the future is all about making the world a brighter place, we will definitely head toward that direction. A stronger future means to open the door to the life that student pursues. When students' futures get brighter, and as society's future is getting brighter, Kyungsung University will hold hands with the world to create even more opportunities. From admissions to graduation, the students' academic performance and status that are recorded on Student Lifecycle Management System become valuable portfolios in which students need for employment and entrepreneurship, and also provides the career support that is most suitable for each student. To support young people who dream of starting their own businesses, Kyungsung's system, built on a solid foundation of industrial cooperation, trains individuals with the practical experience required in today's society. Job matching programs that offers both employment and entrepreneurship support services in one stop. The university that opens jobs with school-based enterprises and others. To ensure a better future for students, Kyungsung University spares no expense and makes every effort. The talents nurtured by Kyungsung University help make a better world. And together with the world, Kyungsung University grows even stronger. If change is how the world can be a greater place, we will definitely achieve it. To become stronger through change is to be one step ahead of the rest. Together with other international universities around the world, we foster global talents. And Kyungsung University is strongly marching towards overseas employment. Like that, from in to out, and out to in, students who frequently travel around the globe to Kyungsung campus, global knowledge and culture, we are bringing new perspectives to the world. Our urban campus is open to everyone. As a university central to the local culture, the cultural and natural space within our campus are open to the local community and Kyungsung University is growing its roles. The changes to make our own world a greater place will continue endlessly. As a small but strong local university satisfying the change of this era, Kyungsung University is steadily moving forward. To make students' dreams come true, Kyungsung University will always be there. Tomorrow that is stronger than today. Kyungsung University. I hope you guys enjoyed our video and from now on I will simply explain about our university with presentation and I'm going to explain more detail about the 2022 spring semester submission with application guideline. Well, our university is located in Busan and maybe all of you guys who entered to today's webinar will know very well about the location and I think this is the most attractive thing about our university's location and maybe you guys can check this information on our university's website and today i'm going to just focus on the information for application of our 2022's admission okay this is the application schedule for 2022 spring semester's admission and it's still operating for the second round right now and maybe you guys who enter to today's webinar can apply for the third round application and it's operated until next year january 21st so there is a long time left 
Help you guys to prepare all of the required documents and apply at the time. And this is a qualification requirements of applicants. And I'm going to explain this one with the application guideline. Uh, Sam, I think your presentation is not showing because it just shows the USB uh, contents. Really? Yeah. Okay. Look again. What about now? It's still the same. Okay, I'll try again. Can you try going? How about do you see do you see the slides now? Is it no. is, is Okay, so you and then choose the yes, this one. yes, and then come you have to Sorry for technical. Hello. Yeah, now we can see. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, we will try to move to the next slide and uh, see whether it's working. Is it working? Yes. So you see that uh, we're moving to the next slide, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Good. I was explaining about this page, the application schedule. I'm going to move on to the qualification requirements and I'm going to explain about this one with the application guideline book after this presentation. Okay, as I told you guys, we are operating the application right now and maybe some of the students can apply to the third round and it's until January 21st. There's many times left right now from now on. So I hope you guys have prepared all of the documents, required documents from now and apply to the 2022 spring semester. Well, these are the major list and for the English track, you guys can just only apply to the global studies, two majors. These are for only English track. In the School of Global Studies, there are three majors and for English track, there's only global business administration and hospitality management. And for Korean track, there's only Korean studies. Maybe Bangladesh students are going to apply for the English track. And this is the major list for the transfer students. And this is the admission qualifications. For both track, you guys have to be on these two requirements, as you guys can see on the first. The number one is applicant and his or both parents are have to be all foreigners, and you have to be foreigner too. And second one is you must complete all regular curriculums corresponding to Korean or foreign elementary and secondary education, and has a high school graduation or higher education. And some of the students who graduated college and your country can apply as a freshman student. <coughs> and there's a language requirements too. Um, but you guys have to know that if there are students who don't have IELTS or TOEFL or TOEFL score can apply for our university and get a scholarship too. The uh, some kind of difficult difference there's difference between students who have IELTS and who have topic score, but if there is a student who doesn't have language proficiency test score and pass the interview, can receive 10% or 35% discount on the tuition fee when you enter our university.
And this is the application process. We are going to screen in your documents when you guys submit the application form throughout the Southern Korea website. And maybe all of you guys can participate on the interview. And the professors will evaluate your ability of major aptitude and expression ability and academic literacy and your language ability with four parts. And if there is a student who got the highest score on the interview again, can get the 100% scholarship on the admission. And this is the application process. You guys have to apply throughout the Studying Korea website. And we are receiving the application form throughout the visiting our office, but maybe all of you guys are in Bangladesh right now. So hope you guys to just go into the website and apply for our university and submit all of the documents with PDF file on there. And the important thing is you guys have to pay for the application fee after the submission and we are going to make the schedule for each student's interview. Maybe Bangladesh is available to apply for the visa right now. So after you guys pay for the tuition fee, we are going to issue the certificate of admission and you guys can apply for the visa and participate on spring semester classes. And these are the required documents, at least in number one and two and three. You guys can just fill out the form on the starting career website. And from number four to the end of the list, you guys have to scan all of them and submit these documents on the website and prepare all of the original documents and gather up and send them to our office by mail, for example, as DHL, some kind of things. And there is some of students who doesn't have parents' passport. You guys can just uh, submit your parents' national ID card instead of the passport. I think this is really important part, the tuition fee. Well, this is just a tuition fees for 2021 and it can be changed in the, for next year. And it's going to be decided on maybe next, next Friday or Thursday. So I hope you guys to just to check this information. Maybe this is a little bit simply going to be decided. And for the global studies, it will be same as the model. And maybe it will not be changing for the global studies. And this is the part of the scholarship. And as I told you guys, students without any kind of IELTS or TOEFL scores can receive 10% discount on the admission tuition fee and as I know there is no students who are going to apply for the Korean track and if there is a student who wants to apply for the Korean track they can receive 35% discount on the admission and who has IELTS 5.5 or 6 or higher than that one can receive 30% discount. Our university has dormitory. Well, originally we had our on-campus dormitory and there is another dormitory outside of our campus, but we are just operating on-campus dormitory right now. And it will be 900,000 Korean won for one semester. And you guys can live in, in dormitory during the vacation, maybe for two months. And you guys have to pay for it again. Oh, and maybe two students are going to live in one room. You guys have to know this one. Okay, this is the explanation very simply about the admission. 
And from now on, I just want to our professors to introduce about the global studies and two majors to all you guys. So hello again, so assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Armi Ahmedov, and as you can see, I'm not Korean. I'm originally from Uzbekistan. So once again, welcome, welcome to this webinar and super happy to have you here and sorry for some minor technical difficulties, right? So uh, as uh, Ms. Kim explained, I'm a professor at Global Studies Department and it's an English track, uh, which means that like uh, <coughs> classes conducted in our department are conducted 100% in English and, and uh, all of the professors who teach the courses, they, uh, they are proficient in English. So currently we, uh, we provide English track classes in two majors. Uh, so Global Studies Department has two majors in English. One is Global Administration, Global Business, and the second one is Global Hospitality Management. And I'm a professor at Global Hospitality Management Department, and uh, we have uh, a large uh, student, uh, students from different countries, especially from Bangladesh, and uh, uh, a lot of students from Bangladesh. Today I had a class, and uh, uh, Students were studying in the fourth year did a presentation on Capstan Design Project. Amazing. And some of the students they presented about opening an eco resort in <laughs> Bengal, uh, in Bangladesh. So uh, you know, uh, I'm a professor here, so if you have any questions about the classes or if you have any questions about the program, I'll be more than happy to so, answer them. Yeah, you can you can you can ask your questions on the chat if you're uh, uh, a little bit hesitant, a little bit shy to answer directly or, you know, turn on your mic and ask me direct question. Okay. Any questions uh, about the university? Any question? What is it like to learn? to hear about uh, your presentation. It was really excellent. And actually, the students have the opportunity to learn about the university and the facilities available there. So I have a question on behalf of our student about uh, is there any credit transfer facility from Kyungsan University to other countries after one or two years? Uh, you mean like, you know, uh, after studying at Kyungsan University for two years, uh, transfer to another school, like abroad? Right, right. Okay, so Ms. Kim? So you mean that students are studying at here for two years or one year and transfer to the Korea's other university or another country's university? Uh, another country's university. Yeah, but like two plus two or like, you know, Union uh, Hangul yourself and go abroad. Um, yeah, it's possible. And uh, great, great. Well, we are not having any kind of MOU, some, some kind of as a two plus two, mm -hmm. that kind of MOU we don't have right now, but we can just let students to apply for the another university and other country as transfer students. So All right. what, she, what she's trying to say is that you can study at Kyungsung University and after two years you can transfer to another university, maybe abroad, if, you, if your GPA is good and if your grades are really good. Uh, but uh, Kyungsung University has a lot of uh, uh, like memorandum of, of understanding like, uh, and relationship with other schools in Japan and like abroad as well. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, like uh, maybe go down, somebody is asking about yes. the College of Pharmacy. Sharif Hossein asked about the pharmacy. So we're students. getting like a lot of questions. Okay. And uh, uh, okay. okay, so somebody wants to ask about uh, the College of Pharmacy, right? Uh, maybe uh, would like to apply for the College of Pharmacy, but it yes. seems. Yes, maybe I think I have to receive more detailed question. What do you want to know about the pharmacy department, some kind of the requirements or some kind of major information? Uh, hello. Actually, I just uh, completed my bachelor in here and mm -hmm. I want to pass master's degree basically in pharmacology field. So do you have any uh, uh, program on pharmacology or pharmaceutical science or pharmaceutical technology? For, for bachelor's or for uh, master's? Master's, master's. For the, for the master's. Yep, okay, yep. Uh, just a quick question. Uh, so uh, do you, do you want to study in Korean, 100% in Korean, or do you want to study in English? Uh, it's 100% in Korean. In Korean. So you yep. have a you have topic, topic level exam, right? You have a, like, what level do you have? 
uh, I just completed my bachelor's and I'm taking preparations to sit for the IELTS exam. But IELTS is in English, right? If you want to study in Korean, you have to have Korean language uh, proficiency, like oh, a topic. In that mm. case, I, I, I don't have that. So I think English will be a better option for me. Yeah. Okay. So let me let me, me just let me just clarify some of the things because I think some of the students might be confused. So Kyungsoo University is a very big school. We have about sixty departments. Yeah. If I'm so, it's really hard to remember at sixty departments. And uh, so, like most of the departments and most of the classes at university, they are conducted in Korean. So if you if you choose a Korean track, uh, you will have to take classes hundred percent in Korean. And uh, to do that, you have to be fluent, really good in, in Korean, right? So, uh, for example, in my case, I'm a Korean track student. Uh, I had to uh, take topic level six. It's a Korean exam, and take all the classes with Korean. And I had to understand perfect Korean, uh, but. Uh, for uh, international students who want to study in Korea, but does, uh, they don't speak Korean well, they speak English well, we have this English track program at Global, uh, uh, Global uh, Studies Department, Global School of Global Studies, and we are providing two majors currently, 100% in English. It is Global Business Administration and Global Hospitality. So if you apply for this department, all the classes will be conducted in English, and also you will have a chance to learn Korean while you, while you're studying English. But pharmaceutical school, it's 100% in Korean. Korean yes. yes. So sorry. Um, sorry about that. It's okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. And uh, uh, there is also, uh, so I think in three years of study gap acceptance for admission. So uh, this gap means after your graduation of high school and you just rest your education for three years, right? So Hasib Ahmed is asking, in three years of uh, study gap, acceptance for admission, so uh, you finish your high school and uh, you, uh, you rested for three years, you did not study for three years, and now is it okay, are you asking, is it okay to apply for, for the school? Is that the question? Uh, actually, I'm preparing for my BBA, uh, non-graduate program. Uh, non, uh, so for, for bachelor's program? Yeah, yeah, bachelor's program. Program. Okay, so you, you graduated from high school, you have a high school diploma, and you yeah, exactly. uh, did not go to university for three years, and now you're asking, is it okay, is it fine if I, uh, if I uh, come and study here after three years, right? Is that the question? Yeah, exactly. yeah correct. Yes, it's possible, and maybe professors can ask you, why did you rest your education at your country? And I think you have to prepare that question's answer. Uh -huh. So during the interview, like maybe I'll be there uh, or other professor, fellow professor, they ask you, so uh, what did you do after your graduation for three years? And you can say, you can explain using a story. Maybe you got a job or something like this. Uh, you have to get some more practical experience. So you have to be ready to answer those type of questions. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm clear. But it's possible to apply. It's possible to apply. Okay, uh, let's move on. Which subject is the most popular, more demand in Kyungsoo University for bachelor's program? Okay, global studies. Okay, <laughs> School of Global Studies is very popular among our like uh, international students. So we have, a, as I explained, we have a large group of community of students coming from Nepal, Bangladesh, uh, Pakistan, we have uh, India. I'm originally from Uzbekistan and we have uh, a lot of Uzbek students. So uh, the, the most popular program is a global studies program and uh, uh, global hospitality management. This is my department, it's the best. And, sec and of course is uh, global business administration. Okay. All right, so let's move on. And uh, there's another question. Yes, yes so, Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel, maybe some, uh, okay. So, so they cannot decide global business administration or hospitality, uh, hospitality management. Which one is better? Is that a question? Is yeah, that... I think that's what he's trying to ask. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, well, I think if, uh, in, in order to uh, choose your department, you have to uh, think carefully about your vision, about your future. And uh, for example, like, you know, what was my, I studied hotel management, so what, why did I decide it? Because 
I, I foresee that w within 20 years, my, uh, the tourism industry will develop in my country. And I was right. Right now, uh, Uzbekistan's tourism industry is booming. So we need a lot of professionals. So uh, in order to choose between different departments, you have to think what you want to do uh, after like uh, finishing the university. Where do you see yourself in five years? Would you like to go work in the hospitality industry? Would you like to work in the hotel industry? Or would you rather go and work in the, some company? So it's up to you. But it doesn't mean that if you graduate from a global uh, administration, it doesn't mean that you, you will not be qualified to work in the hotel. Or if you graduate from hotel, we have uh, students from hotels. They go and work not only in hotels, they work in airlines, they work in uh, companies. I know some students who even got a job in the bank. So, but uh, think uh, which specification uh, suits your pros and cons uh, more in details, okay? So think about, that's your choice. Okay, do we have any other questions? Uh, I have one actually. Uh, uh, I saw the, I saw the earlier at the presentation, uh, Kim so -yun said 100% scholarship is possible when students do the admission interview in very high score. Does that apply only to one student in one round or is it one student in the whole intake? So this means that throughout the, all of the first, second, third round, uh, throughout the, all of the applicants, between all of the applicants who got the highest interview scholar, scholar score on that one can get the 100% scholarship. Uh, okay, so this doesn't mean just this, not just Roya Butler, but Roya Butler and all of the other applicants, right? Yes, between all of the applicants, the okay. highest one, 100%. Okay. So uh, one thing, like Kyungsung University has a lot of uh, scholarships. So if you're really willing to work hard, if you're willing to learn, and if you're well prepared, you have a great chance of getting a scholarship. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so because is that it? So there's another question, but so so please make sure which is better. Are you asking about uh, the department global hospitality management and global business? Is that the question? Which one is better department? Is that the question? Yeah, I think he wants a recommendation. That's the same. <laughs> yeah, well, because I'm a little bit bias because I work at the global hospitality management. <laughs> so of course I'm going to say global hospitality is, uh, is a good one, but it depends like in, in our, like in our, in our department, we are more focused. We have, of course, you will take uh, some finance related class, marketing related class, but you also have, will have a chance to uh, learn about the uh, more in details about hospitality and lodging companies. So, uh, you know, whatever suits you, whatever suits you. But again, uh, we have a lot of students from Bangladesh and Nepal and India from our department who study hospitality as well as who study business. So, Think where do you see where you see yourself in uh, ten years? In which sector would you like to work? Well, maybe on our university's English website, there is some kind of list of the courses mm -hmm. and the classes for each major. So I hope you to just go into the website and check the major classes. What explanation on there, and just to check about what are you interested in and what do you want to study. Okay, there's another interesting question. How can a student get a permanent residence, uh, residency in South Korea? Oh, permanent residency, a young one. Well, that's, um, okay. <laughs> would, you, would you like Ma to ask for <laughs> Marriage? Oh, maybe? so, okay. Uh, because I'm not Korean, um, yeah. maybe. Okay, so first of all, in order to get a PR permanent residency, uh, first of all, you have to come and study hard as a student and have a good GPA, graduate from university. And then, so you will come here as a student on a student visa, right? And on a student visa. So after successfully completing university, you can apply for the job and uh, uh, you will get an E-type visa. This is for the jobs. 
And after working in the company, you can apply for F visas. There's F2 and F5, and uh, this will help you to get the permanent residency. So what is, what is the best way? Study hard and uh, be nice. Don't commit crime. Uh, like obey Korean law and re live in Korea for a long time to get a permanent residence visa. Or after you graduate from Kyungsha University, you will speak Korean well, you speak English well, you will have a nice diploma, and you will meet a nice uh, Korean man or a nice Korean woman and get a peer, permanent residency. But it depends on you, of course. So wow. that's a hard, <laughs> it's a hard question. <laughs> Study hard, uh, follow. So there was an American dream, now we have a Korea dream, right? <laughs> so if you are qualified, if you, if you can add value to Korean society, you will get a Korean permanent residency. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, I'd like to ask a question on behalf of one student. Uh, he's asking about, uh, uh, does the students uh, of uh, hotel management department uh, have the opportunity for internship? Okay, so where is the internship? Uh, in Korea or like overseas? Uh, maybe in Korea or any other place suitable. I mean, is it managed by the university or is there any opportunity that they can have the internship? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like. So you mean that studying for, and having an internship? Uh, yeah. maybe it's possible. Mm -hmm. And for the internship, there's another department that was in charge of the foreign students' internship. So if you student just coming to our university, and maybe I think he have to talk about the internship with manager. Mm -hmm. It's possible. The answer is possible. Yeah. So, and one thing, because I'm from this department, and uh, like uh, our dean is working really hard on internationalization of our department, as well as establishing uh, some uh, internship with the companies. Uh, but to be honest, like, you know, I'm, uh, you know, it, it's not easy to get an internship. It's not easy to get a job in Korea, even for Koreans. Even for Koreans, it's not easy. It's very challenging. Uh, but if you are qualified, if you speak English well, if you have a good GPA, if you speak Korean, uh, it opens a lot of doors uh, in Korea. And also we have some students who did internship abroad, yes. like in Thailand, and they got like a good money. Uh, but it, it's we're working in it because right now, as you know, it's a pandemic, COVID-19, uh, but <coughs> in the future we'll, we'll try to create more internships for our students. Well, and the important thing is they have to get the English or Korean proficiency test, first of all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, of course, it's not going to be to everyone, but if you try, if you work hard, there's going to be a really nice internship and nice opportunities. Okay, so, uh, okay, uh, any other questions? Maybe like about how, what is it like to live in Busan? What is it like to study at Gongsun University? Anything? Any questions? Uh, actually, there is a question from one of our students uh, that is, uh, how about the living and fooding cost uh, in Busan? Living cost? Yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. 400,000 won for one uh -huh. room. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, I've been living in Korea, as I said, I'm not Korean. I've been living in Korea for 16 years. And uh, I came to Busan uh, four, five, four months ago uh, from Seoul, from Seoul, right? And so I'm based on my experience, I'm going to tell you. So if you go and study in Seoul, it's going to be much more expensive to, with the room. And uh, the room is going to be much more expensive than here. And the food is going to be cost uh, you more. But in, in Busan also, what I think the benefit in Busan, if you come from Bangladesh, you have a very warm climate, right? Uh, and Busan is comparatively warmer compared to Seoul. So this is one advantage. And renting the room or living in the dormitory is a lot cheaper than living in like a capital city, Incheon or Seoul. Mm -hmm. And so approximately maybe how much? Maybe if you guys are living in on-campus dormitory, it will be 300,000 won per one month. And if you guys are living outside, find out some kind of room, maybe it will be 400,000 or 500,000 won mm -hmm. per one month. And for one meal, approximately maybe uh, one, 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 one
for for the meal or just one meal? Uh, so it depends where you eat. <laughs> yes. If you if you cook, it's a lot cheaper. If if you cook, it's a lot cheaper. I don't personally cook, so I spend a lot of money on the meals. So it's it, if you go and eat outside, maybe it's about uh, like seven eight thousand one mm -hmm. seven eight thousand one. So it's about six dollars six dollars. Yes. Yeah. So it depends where you go and eat. Depends what you eat. <clears throat> Right? But but it's very difficult to give you exact amount because it depends on the person. Uh, but I can assure you that living in Busan is cheaper compared to living in Seoul or in <laughs> okay. And uh, there we have another question about uh, what is the medium seller after completing the <laughs> bachelor's degree and the MBA degrees. It depends on the company that you work. <laughs> so if you work for a big company like uh, conglomerate companies for like uh, Samsung, uh, you know, you will get about like about, about like, you know, $50,000. Uh, but more than, uh, than $50,000, but you have to be qualified and it's not easy to get the job like in major conglomerate companies, and but also you can apply for teacher. What's this? What? Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and so it depends on what company, but also you can apply for the job in like in some uh, companies in Busan as well. So about uh, major companies about uh, 50, 50,000 yes. and the small and medium enterprise about 30. Right. 30,000 about so small and medium enterprise may about 30,000 and uh, bigger ones about 50,000 but you know of course you have to work hard okay so uh, any other uh, any other questions any other comments or yeah hello yeah. sir i hello sir i have a question for you of course sir uh, anyone any teacher or employee university employee go to airport receiving student when we arrived in mm -hmm. south korea so pick up service pick you up from the airport yes sir yes sir so when you arrive at the international airport do we have any staff who will go and pick them up yes originally we have that service for the pickup and well these days you guys have to take the train to busan station because of the covid 19 and we're going to pick up you guys at Busan station, train station. So not from the airport. Yes. Right? Uh, okay. So when you come to Korea, you will uh, probably land at Incheon International Airport. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Not Kine, right? Incheon, Incheon. Incheon International Airport. And it's very convenient. And you can take a bus or you can take a train from Incheon International Airport to uh, to Busan station. It's the, uh, the central station. And one of the staff members will go and pick you up. And just, uh, just for your... Information nobody picked me up. <laughs> I had to. I had to take my. I had to take. I had to take. For, I had to. I had to pay for the taxi. I had to find my own way. <laughs> but you know, uh, here we uh, we care about the students. Nobody picked me up uh, when I was in Seoul. Okay. Okay. Thank well, you. Thank you, sir. When, thank you very much. When you much. apply for our university throughout the Studying Korea website, just to check on the pickup service and apply, just you can get the service. When you enter South Korea. So you have to, they have to check the pickup. Yes, service. yes. Okay, don't forget to check the pickup service there. So okay. uh, some some of the staff will pick you up from Busan Station. Yes. Okay, and so you will not get lost. And one thing, maybe you decide which country to go. Should I go to Korea? Should I go? So one of the things I think advantages of Korea is pretty safe. So uh, safe, we have a safe campus and uh, uh, it's quite safe. You can concentrate on your studies. You can concentrate on your future career and if you if you can check the map of uh, Kyungsung University it's located nearby close to the subway station and uh, very very close and if you like sea you can walk to the sea 10 15 minutes to Kwanli yes. Kwanli beach 15 minutes uh, so after the class you can go and uh, take a stroll and you know enjoy beautiful sea maybe I will go enjoy beautiful sea after today's meeting okay right. <laughs> <laughs> okay so any any questions any comments uh okay establishing so is there any government support to establish startup company entrepreneur entrepreneur okay yes so korean government is trying to promote uh, yes. entrepreneurship and i have uh, some students who uh, who participated in startup idea like incubator uh 
competitions. Uh, and I think that if you uh, if you have a great idea and and if you have a you know good product, you can uh, start you can start up. And one of my friends actually, but not in Pusan, he's in Seoul. Uh, he's he had a, this great idea about the medical startup company, and he got a venture capital investment. To his company so yes if you're bright if you're smart if you're willing to work hard uh, you can get some uh, maybe like support from the government there are like some programs but again you have to speak the language and you have to have the knowledge so people would invest in your startup okay so uh, any other questions any other comments okay yes. Gabrielle can I just Wrap up the question time. Mm -hmm. I think you are muted. Yes, Gabrielle, we cannot hear you. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. <laughs> Is anyone else? Does anyone else has any other questions? Mm -hmm. and, um, okay. no, that's the same question. If anyone uh, has any questions, about study, like about live, maybe like study and living in Kyungsung University. Any, any question is okay because we're gonna wrap this up soon, and maybe you don't want to miss the chance of asking the staff directly rather than. Okay, so just who have question right now? Just send me an email. Everything's okay. Just yeah, you can ask questions. through email. You can ask through Mr. Shams. You can ask through me. Um, if that's the end, then we can wrap this up. I think it's done. Oh, I want to add something though. I want to add, um, it's not a question. I want to tell the students this. So until until last week, uh, Bangladesh had open visa application to Korea. And it always says, what I heard is, it always says like, oh yeah, we accept student visas, but they always reject rejected everyone if they're not government scholarship students. But last week we had an individual applicant and he got visa already. So that's good news. And I think from now on, visa will be maybe easier uh, given the condition that all documents are prepared and ready. So I think regarding like visa uh, doubts and you know, like I don't wanna apply now because of visa, I think that that would be like a less of a concern from now on, especially from next year. Mr. Okay. Shang, do you have any other question? Actually, I think um, uh, students have been very much, uh, found it very much useful. Uh, they learned about a lot of things about Kyungsung University and Eastern Opportunity. And also a uh, visa success we had. Uh, I have actually checked with the visa uh, is very easy nowadays because they check the papers. If the papers are okay, the students get the visa very normally. So there is no mm -hmm. problem. So I, I would like to welcome you all uh, for proceeding the application because the deadline is there is another round. So is there, if there is any other question, uh, you can also send us email or you can text us. Thank you for joining. Okay, thank you very much.